Hey, what's going on guys? It's Steven, the 918 agent. And today we are talking about Tulsa remotes again. Yes, we're talking about it again because they just rolled out a new incentive that is about the $10,000. So basically, instead of getting that broken up over the year, you can get it faster. I'm talking about right when you move to Oklahoma. But before I go into the questions and you know how this program works, this new program that they, that they have, if you can do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel, it helps me out a lot. Also, if you can like and leave me a comment down in the comment section below um, and let me know what you think about this new program, that would be awesome. I am a real estate agent by trait, so if you have any questions about real estate or questions in general, you know you can reach me at my contact information above, or you can go down to the description below and you know click one of my links about uh, where my social media stuff is and all that great stuff. But Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this new program that Tulsa Remote has, and let's get it rolling. So like I said in the intro, I talked about Tulsa Remote before. So if you wanna click above, that's where I will break down of what Tulsa Remote is. I talk about everything. So go ahead and check that video out if you don't know what I'm talking about. But the first question of what I'm going to talk about is what is Tulsa Remote Home Ownership Incentive? So their new program. So normally and before, that $10,000 was broken up over a course of a year. But now what they're going to do, and they just launched this very, very recently, is that they're going to give you $10,000 right off the bat. They're going to give it to you so you can buy a home. Now, this the money can go towards a down payment. It can go to closing costs and some other things. So if you're looking at not renting and wanting to go ahead and just get your feet wet and just jump into the pool, uh, you can buy a house right off the bat. Now, they'll go ahead and keep that other option for people that don't want to buy a home in Tulsa yet, which I totally understand. You know, people that never been to Tulsa before, they want to see if they like the area. So you can break it up over the year still. But if you're ready to go ahead and just buy a home, you have that option now, which I think is awesome. All right, so question number two. How does this home ownership initiative work? So once you apply and get accepted, you can choose from either one of the programs, either get it you know, divided up over the year or get that $10,000 right off the bat. So you must purchase a owner-occupied residential property in Tulsa, and then you will receive the lump sum upon the home purchase, okay? So you can choose either one, but you got to buy a res residential occupied property in the Tulsa area, and then they will basically cut you a check for $10,000. All right, question number three, what criteria has to be met to be eligible for this home ownership program? So there's a couple criteria that you need to meet. The first one is you have to purchase a home inside of Tulsa city limit. So it has to be in the city of Tulsa. It can't be in the suburbs, which can be very confusing. Um, so if you need help with this, I'm a real estate agent. I would love to help you pick out a home. That's the reason why, you know, I make these videos is to help people, you know, buy homes here in Tulsa. So if you need help with that, please let me know. It can be confusing. Uh, number two is the home must serve as the primary residency for the applicant for at least a period of a year. And that is, that year starts from the time of closing. So they want to make sure that you're living in that home, you know, for at least a year. The next thing is the home cannot serve uh, as part or as a whole as an income producing property. And once again, that's for at least a year from the time of closing. So what that means is you can't rent out a room to another Tulsa remote person, or you can't just flip, once you buy it, flip it into a rental. You have to at least, you know, you know live in it and not have it as a rental for at least one year from the time of closing. And then the last thing is the accepted applicant must be on the name of the deed of the property, which I hope you, you know, do that anyways. All right, question number three, how much will the home ownership initiative cover? Now, this is kind of a confusing question, but I'm going to read exactly what they have is in Tulsa, the median house or home price is $157,000. With this pricing in mind, the grant could cover nearly one third of a down payment. Now, I think the reason why they added this in is they just want want you to be able to compare and you know understand you know how much ten thousand dollars is going to cover i do not think that they're saying that 
the home has to be $157,000 or more. I think they just put that in there for you to understand what $10,000 actually covers here in the Tulsa area. All right, question number five, what else does Tulsa Remote offer their members? So we've already talked about the $10,000 and the way you can either choose to break that up over a course of a year or get that $10,000 right off the bat to purchase a home. But they also have other incentives and other things that they offer the, you know, basically the people that are in Tulsa Remote. What they've been doing is virtual cocktail parties. Uh, they've also done, you know, networking events. And they did a lot of stuff before the pandemic hit. And it was, uh, a lot of people loved it. But once the pandemic hit, they've actually, you know, obviously had to, you know, bring it back a little bit. But they've still been working really hard to making sure that Tulsa Remote community is strong. Another thing that you'll get is you'll get a membership to a co-working space called 36 Degrees North, which is an awesome co-working space to where you can, you know, work with other people in your industry. So you'll work with other local entrepreneurs. You'll also work with other remote workers and, you know, people that are working in the, uh, you know, the digital world. So it's a great place to, you know, bounce ideas off of, you know, talk to other people. And once again, stay inside of the community to where you can get the full uh, experience of Tulsa. All right. And the last question you might have is who is eligible to apply for Tulsa Remote? Uh, to be considered for the Tulsa Remote program, you have to meet four criteria. And the first one is you have to be able to move to Tulsa within the calendar year of 2021. Uh, next one is you have to be a full-time remote worker or employee or be a current self-employed uh, employee outside of the state of Oklahoma. So if you already live in Oklahoma, don't even bother applying. The next one is you must be 18 years or older. And the last one is you must be a permanent resident of the United States. Um, if you have more questions, please go down in the description below. I uh, have a link to their website and then also I have the email that you can ask more questions about Tulsa Remote. All right, once again, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, click my face. It's a quick way for you to, to subscribe to your, my channel. I appreciate you watching. The top video is what YouTube recommends that you watch next. The video on the bottom is a playlist of everything you need to know about Tulsa. Steven, out.